What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. <laughs> okay, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here, honey. I don't know if we're going to have a parking space today. It's Monday. We are down here. Um, oh, let me turn this down. I'm listening to Terry Joe, baby. When I tell you I've been hollering at Terry Joe for the last, for the whole weekend, I didn't watch none of the videos and none of the shows that we need to watch. I didn't watch them until last night. I watched everything last night. I watched Dubai last night. I watched, um, my parking space is here. They, they finally got the memo. It took them about what, two weeks to get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe and comment. Let the diva know you stopped by yesterday. I, the diva was down for the count. I woke up with this gnarly headache. I stayed in the bed literally all day long. I watched Terry Joe. <laughs> For the majority of the day and then towards the evening that's when i started watching dubai um love and marriage huntsville p valley and real housewives of atlanta um <clears throat> let's talk about love no let's talk about dubai first because that's what came on i will do them in order i guess so the episode was pretty good it was pretty good it was pretty good the episode yeah yeah, it was pretty good. Um, we're getting ready for Lisa's, Lisa's fashion show for Mina Rowe and Chanel's going to be helping her. They talk, you know, a little bit about their relationship and how, um, and how they become so close as friends or what have you. Caroline, Stanberry, and Nina, they go to Atlantis. So they're staying in this really, really nice hotel where they have like a live aquarium in there. I mean, like a full like aquarium where there's scuba divers coming into the aquarium, welcoming them to the hotel room. Yasmin wants her to be happy. Who is Yasmin? Oh, that's um, Caroline's daughter. She was telling her that she basically was talking about how um, Sergio is a man child. So, you know, like over the weekend or this upcoming up weekend coming up or this Last week, girl, get it together. Last week, it came out that Sergio is a, a Trump supporter. And then there's also a tweet going around where he's like me and my N words or something like that. And then I was like, well, you know, if he's a Trump, a Trump supporter and then he's running around saying the N word, that goes together to me. But it was the black emoji hand that he used on the tweet for me. I was like, okay, girl. So I don't know what y'all want to do with racists. Like, I mean, a Jenny Gwynn racist, she doesn't deserve to be on TV because her her racism is overt. It's violent. It, it's, it's, I don't know. Like for me, Ramona Singer is a different kind of racist than Jenny Gwynn. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know um, that she is racist. You know that she is because it's in her self-interest to be racist, right? It's in her self-interest. And when I say racist, and I think a lot of people don't get it. When I say racist, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people don't understand when we say racist, we're not saying that you're at a clan meeting, right? And you're the treasurer for the Ku Klux Klan 23rd chapter over there on 59th Avenue. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about understanding that because you are white, that you have a privilege and you exercise and take advantage of that privilege on a regular basis. Therefore, you are racist. That's it. It doesn't mean you're around calling people niggers and telling people you're going to string them up. It's none of that, right? It's none of that overt. It is, I'm walking through this world with the privilege of race and an understanding of my privilege and using that privilege for myself and not anyone else because you could use your privilege for something else, but then that would take away from the actual you know, fruits of the privilege, I guess. So I don't know what y'all want to do with these kind of people on these shows. Okay. So her daughter says that he's a man child and she doesn't want another sibling. And she was, and then she was like, maybe he can have 
Maybe he can get someone else pregnant. Y'all can still be together or something like that, she said. At dinner, it's Chanel, Lisa, and Brooks. Chanel brings Brooks a bucket of lemons because of her bitter disposition. But Chanel changed it when she got there. I was like, she's not going to tell her that she's bitter like that. But she changed it when she got there. When she got there, she was like, what are these? And she was like, because, you know... We have these things between us. It's like lemonade, lemons, so um, we can make lemonade out of it or something. She switched it up. They lost the goat. They ended up finding it. The goat went, you know, went a wall for a second because the goat heard Lisa say that they were going to curry the goat. So the the goat was out. Do you have any regrets from Nina's dinner? And then um, she was like, yeah, we do have some regrets about the things that they said. She, Brooke says to Chanel, we were talking every day and, you know, you, you went away. You stopped, we stopped talking. I don't know what happened. She says, well, remember when I told you my husband was going out of town and he, um, you know, I was alone or whatever. You called me and you were telling me these things and then says, and you say to me that she, I think she's only inviting the important people or people who are important to her. And then Brooke's admits that I, that she said it. she's like I said that she did not Stanberry did not say that I said that that makes it worse bitch to me that makes it worse because if it comes from Stanberry it's expected if it's coming from you you're supposed to be cool with her why would you say that and then furthermore why would you call her at <laughs> Chanel said it was before I even peed like why are you calling me telling me this even before I get out of bed you know And that's, to me, that's makes it worse that you actually said some shit like that to her. And it wasn't this, it wasn't Stanberry. She says, if I did, she gives you a, if I did, sorry, if I did, sorry, she gives you that kind of sorry. Stanberry was calculated, calculated. Lisa says she needs to apologize to Chanel. Brooks calls Chanel and Lisa pinky in the brain amongst other things. Um, so We'll see how that goes. Sarah's having a photo shoot. Um, She talks about a little bit, gives us some background in terms of her career, how she started, and then how she ended up investing in tech. She's gone bankrupt twice. She says a lot of magazines like to um, feature her because she represents a rebellious, a rebelliousness about, you know, just the, the culture and everything like that as an Arab woman in tech. Come on, black ladies walking. Yes, they can they walk in the morning. Love to see it. We haven't seen those ladies before. This is new. They must be starting something new today. Starting on Monday, because we ain't seen them before. All right. So um she talks about having her tattoos and you know how it's not acceptable. And she's, you know, taking her pictures and she's like, it doesn't matter what I wear on the outside. It matters that, you know, in my heart. And that's what it is like for Islam. That's like the main like thing. Like you don't know what's in another person's heart. You can't, but, but you have people who are traditionalists who want to hold on to these traditions and make, you know, women covering and stuff like that. So that's not something that she participates in. Um, I don't know. I was kind of annoyed that Brooks was like, if you want to ask anybody about, you know, plastic surgery, you can ask um, Sarah because, and then like they showed this before and after. And I was like, why is it her talking? I don't know. I guess she's just a bitch. She reminds me of Kanye from Young Famous Africans. I, I She reminds me of her. She also reminds me of Sheree a little bit. Like, I don't know what it is about her. But it's like, I want to like her. And I'd be looking at her like, do I like Brooks? I don't know if I like her yet. Because I feel like she's like bitchy for no reason. I feel like she, like you're playing this role and it's not really you. And maybe it is really you. And I just really like, is that really you? Because if it is, that's, it's not fun. Is it fun? Maybe it's fun for her. I was like, ugh. I don't know. She reminds me like, like you want to be a bitch, but I don't know. I feel like she's, she's doing the most. I need. I got the sprinklers on. So Brooks and Stanberry, they go to a a med spa or something like that. Sarah knows about surgery, and they show this before picture of Sarah and the after picture. Whatever she did, baby, she looks great. 
she is really pretty. Like when I'm looking at Sarah, I'll be like, God damn, like her, just everything, her eyes, it's the eyes and the brows and whoever did her nose, they really, it, everything looks good. Like her face looks really good. They talk a little bit about, um, Brooks and Lisa and Chanel's lunch. And she says that they, that Lisa said that, um, Stanberry needs to apologize. She was like, when hell freezes over, I'm not apologizing she needs to pipe down and they're always talking and sticking up for each other and they don't even realize what they're doing or they're too far gone they they have to they have to stick up for each other until the end or some shit she said so they end up having this procedure where it's like um like you know I guess giving doing sit-ups for her I don't know what it's doing it they weren't really good at the explanation so that was a little scene and then we have Lisa's fashion show um Stanberry's not coming. She said she sends Lisa a text message and says that um I know you weren't expecting me and I, she was like, "Girl, I invited you weeks ago. What do you mean I wasn't expecting you?" That's passive aggressive. So, you can see Stanberry at home. She's not doing anything. She's not planning a wedding. She's not doing anything that could have, you know, kept her from coming to um the party or the the fashion show. Chanel feels like it's singling her out again, that she's not coming. We're going to see what's going to happen with that. Um, the The fashion show was really good. The clothes looked really nice. Um, of course, it was hectic in the back, as it always is. Yeah, and then they show Stanbury off to the side having a good time. And the women liked the clothes. Her husband was there. He's supportive. He's the CFO. We see next week is something he said he's not signing off on. I didn't like that. Y'all know I didn't like that. I know y'all saw that was probably like, Erica's not going to like that. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all. I was like, okay. All right. What's his name? John. I don't know what her husband's name is, but he's the CFO. And next week he tell her he's not signing off on something. I said, oh shit. No, hell, hell no. You should, it should be something like he can manage the money, but I, you still like Oprah Winfrey. I need final say in everything. Even though, even though my name needs to be on the check so I get the final say uh-uh. I was like uh-uh, uh-uh Lisa anyways y'all that was the episode let me know what you think like I said the episode was just okay um we'll see next week we'll be more of the uh, women together and seeing what's going on with that other than that it was just okay so let me know what y'all think of the episode take care of each other and protect your energy peace